What is going on guys, 2.0 here, and in today's video I have another 10 legendary engrams to open up for you guys. So if you have a look at the engrams I do have, we have one special, one heavy, then we have three class items, one leg armor, three gauntlets, and then one helmet. So let's have a look at what we are going to get this time around. We'll start with, oh, we have a sublime here, didn't even realize that, so in the Neurogast cloak, um, and then the other two class items on the marsh and then infinite lines cloak for future war cult um, I believe I'm getting quite close to level 25 on my future war cult so having that cloak there is going to be good I can get those quests done without spending the legendary marks on a future war cult cloak because you do need a cloak to complete uh, all of those quests then we'll go ahead with the gauntlets because we do have three of these so asteroid 1.1 uh, same as that gauntlets again and then bog wild 1.0 uh, the Sublime, again, a Neurogast, the Helmet, always save the weapons till last, uh, but the Helmet, Aspirate 1.0, then we're going to go for, we'll go for the Heavy, where we're getting a Ruin Wake, and then lastly, the Special Weapon Engram, we are going to get an Exotic again, we, we got an Exotic in the last one, this time it is the Invective Shotgun, so let's take a look at everything we got in a little bit more detail, so the Ruin Wake Machine Gun, uh, solar damage 272 kills will grant a bonus damage for a short amount of time and kills with a weapon while critically wounded have a chance to start regenerating health those are actually really good upgrades to get I'm pretty happy with that um, probably going to be using that and leveling that up then we'll take a look at the cloak so the neurogas from the sublime increase upgrade for hand cannons and increase vanguard rep um, then the on the marsh increase rate for oh, the exact same upgrades increase upgrade rate for hand cannons and then the crucible rep again and then lastly or the vanguard rep sorry and then lastly the increase upgrade rate for pulse rifles and increase crucible rep gain on the future war car i'm going to go ahead and lock that so i don't accidentally delete it because i am going to need that when i do the um, exotic cloak quests for future war cult then from the leg armors, the Neurogast, we got increase the amount of sidearm ammo you can carry and increase agility for 5 seconds after an arc double kill. I'm going to go ahead and dismantle them, I'm not really going to make any use of those. Then from the gauntlets, increase melee attack speed and increase reload speed of hand cannons. These are actually really good, I'm actually playing quite a bit of Crucible lately, you can see I've got my last word selected there. So increase the reload speed for hand cannons is going to be very good and then the increased melee attack speed is extremely good for crucible. Then on the other ones increase grenade throw distance. I really don't like this upgrade. Uh, I'm not used to it so I'm not a fan of this one. So we're going to go ahead and dismantle those and then the other gauntlets we got increase grenade throw distance again and then increase reload speed of sidearm. So both terrible upgrades. I'm going to go ahead and dismantle those. The helmet we got the asteroid 1.0. Uh, more super energy from non-guardian kills and replenish health whenever you pick up an orb. These are actually really good upgrades as well. Replenishing health whenever you pick up an orb is really good. Um, and then more super energy from non-guardian kills. Obviously going to pay off, um, but not so much in the Crucible. So we'll go ahead and take a look and see what that looks like. That doesn't look like anything too special, um, but we'll go ahead and keep it for now just because those upgrades are pretty good. And then lastly, from the uh, legendary special weapon engram, we ended up getting the exotic invective, dropping out 310 attack. Um, and the upgrades on this are the weapon regenerates ammo over time, and the last round deals bonus damage. So really happy with that. Got another exotic from our legendaries. We went on a dry street where we weren't really getting any, but we got one in the last video, and we got one on this one. So very happy with that overall let me know down below in the comments what you thought of it but that is going to bring us to the end of the video guys so if you did enjoy it please leave a like because it really does help me out subscribe if you're new around here as they upload daily destiny videos and as always thanks for watching and i will see you guys on the next one